Over the last several years, there have been a number of changes to the requirements for continuing medical education for chiropractic physicians here in Illinois. We want to make sure everyone is up to speed, so uh, hang with me for the next couple of minutes and I'll walk through all of those requirements. First, there have been no changes to the total number of hours that are required. You are still required to get 150 total hours of, uh, uh, of continuing medical education of CME uh, in that three year period. 60, a minimum of 60 of those must be category one. Uh, the remaining can be any mixture of category two or category one hours uh, and qualify for the full 150. However, inside that category one, we have now, we have uh, several specific courses that must be taken. Now, all of you are familiar with at least one or two of those. The first being sexual harassment prevention training. Uh, that actually was in place for the last renewal that ended in 2020. Um, but for the 2023 renewal that ends in July of 2023, uh, that is still in place. You must take an, a, another course during this renewal cycle for sexual harassment prevention training. Uh, additionally, uh, additionally, now there are two more that must be taken in that same period, um, and that includes uh, implicit bias awareness, awareness training, implicit bias awareness training, and also Alzheimer's and other dementias. So both of those are going to be required courses. Now for ICS members, uh, this is actually a free course that you'll be able to take uh, um, uh, through our live webinar that we have coming up. Uh, the Alzheimer's course is, is available in June of this year and the, uh, and the implicit bias course is available in early August of this year. Now, all of the mandated education courses that we offer, and we have uh, three of the four that are available uh, on demand and ready, um, they are uh, in our catalog. You can actually get right to those specific required courses at ilchiro.org slash mandated CME. That's ilchiro.org slash mandated CME. You can check that out in the description of this, uh, of this video and see that link there. Um, but go out, you can grab those courses. And again, for ICS members, those are free and and uh, included now the last of those four required courses uh, is actually for child abuse mandated reporter training uh, that is actually done by dcfs uh, that's available online and it is free for everyone and so uh, you can jump out and uh, and get that education as well directly from uh, dcfs now if you're curious and, and you want to see some additional information you can go to ilcairo.org CME dash checklist. Uh, you can see all of those items listed out as well, some hyperlinks to each one of those courses so you can get all that information that you need um, and uh, get all that nailed down. I encourage you to get registered early, start wrapping up those hours and get things taken care of early. Uh, too often we see doctors waiting until the very end of the renewal cycle to nail down all their hours. This is an opportunity for you to kind of get everything in, in order, uh, take a couple of courses uh, uh, you know, over lunches in the evenings, um, and lessen that uh, press towards the end of that renewal cycle. Uh, and hopefully uh, this information helps you out and get you started and ready uh, for that July 31st, 2023 deadline that's only about 15 months away. We'll catch you next week.